All right, so I'm going to uh, work on the next problem here uh, on our uh, multi-view drawings. Now, um, it is important to remember, of course, that these uh, objects uh, have a width of eight, a height of five, and a depth of four. So, so as I go through, uh, we've talked before, basically we're gonna block in these items and I'm just kind of sketching these out. So, so there's the first horizontal line. Now the second horizontal line that I make is gonna kind of be the uh, representation here for my height, which we said was five units. So I'll make that five units. Now, then we're gonna have some spacing in between there. So uh, spacing will probably be about two units in this case. And then our fourth vertical line here uh, is going to be um, the four. So we've got a uh, width of, or a height of five and a depth of four. And we've got the four lines that uh, blocks that in. So, and again, this is going to be my height so I'm gonna have space left here, and then my depth will be right here in between that. And I'm gonna do the same thing now uh, to block in for my um, vertical line. So this is gonna be uh, the first vertical line. We will come over here, and I will place another construction line that is eight units. So this is my width now. Uh, my space has to equal my space. So if I went two units there, I'm gonna go two units there as well. And now here in my depth, again, my depth equals my depth. And we've got these, what, what I call the eight lines, four horizontal, four vertical. Now, again, maintain and understand what we're doing with these construction lines is blocking these in. So our front view is going to be right here. Our side view is going to be right here, and then our top view will be right here. Now, what we're missing right now is a ninth line, which is uh, also, uh, your text calls it a mitered line, and uh, that really, we can bring that from two places. We can either bring that from where the edge and the top view meets the edge and the side view, or we can bring it from the upper right-hand corner of the front view. Either way, uh, so long as we maintain this spacing on all of these, uh, then we're gonna have that 90 to, or that 45 degree miter line. And that's important as we kind of solve this and decide what needs to go where in each of these views. Now, again, here, as we're looking at this, uh, we're looking at drawing number two, and I'm gonna go ahead right now and in drawing two, just by looking at it, I can see that the sides of the front view, so I've got like this U-shaped object here. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, draw this. And I know that the bottom is also gonna be solid in this view. So I'm going back down now where before I was just doing construction or construction lines. Now I'm going back in and making these solid and not object lines. And again, this is a U-shaped, um, u-shaped block so something's going to happen inside here as well and as i look at it we can kind of count over the side so i've got uh, the same distance and now i know that these are going to be a uh, solid object and as i count up so i can kind of go through right here uh, we're going to kind of put those in uh, as well to kind of project over between both these views. Now I understand, okay, so I need this right here like this. This is right here like that. And then my other solid object comes right here and I get my U-shape of that particular block. Now I also know that I've got a cutout in here as well. And uh, as we kind of count over with that, we see, okay, well that's projected uh, we're kind of splitting this up equally so so I'm gonna have another line here now I'm gonna project this up there and we'll project this up there because that's got to fall in line we got to see that up here just as well as down here so now I can know okay so this is gonna be solid 
This is gonna be solid. And my front view is complete. Now I need to kind of figure out what's going on in my side view. Well, as I'm looking at the side view, all I'm gonna see right here is this solid uh, rectangular shape. So I can go ahead and fill in uh, this right like that. So we know that that's solid. Because again, as we look at this view, we're looking at it that way as it's rotated around and that's gonna be a solid uh, piece. But we do have to account for this line and this surface in here. Well, that's gonna be a hidden line. So we're gonna come back over here now and I'll do my hidden lines. And I, now that I know, I can go ahead and make those darker so that they're nice hidden lines. And now we can move on up to our uh, top view. So, and again, uh, the top view is gonna be a little bit more challenging. So we can kind of see here that uh, it's gonna be solid back in through here. Okay. And uh, we know that it's notched out right here. So, so we're going to be solid object, visible lines right here and right here. And of course, uh, our ends here will also be solid object lines. Okay. And where these come in, these are going to be solid object lines. We can project right on up to there. So that's gonna be a solid object line. Over here is gonna be a solid object line. We've already projected that over, but we don't really know exactly how far in that goes. And uh, as we take a look at this, so uh, this is kind of one of those areas where it might be kind of hard to solve. So in the case of our drawing, our isometric, we can tell that's only like, one block uh, out of the five. So, so we know in this view, so we can start in the side view here, we know that in this view, we're also gonna have a hidden line going this way to account for that notch. So we got that hidden line right there. So now, so where does that fall in up here? Well, again, uh, we project up to our ninth line, our mitered line, and then we can kind of project over from there and that lets us know. Now we can go back in now and fill this in. So, so we'll make sure we know that those are both nice and solid object lines. And now we see the object here. Uh, that's a solid object line there as well. And now we've got our uh, drawing finished. So this is review activity 5-5 and this is problem number two uh, when we're sketching out the multi-view drawings.